Well, good afternoon. Sorry, we're running a little bit late. Uh, my name is Tom Nato. I'm from Brocade. Um, and we're going to give a talk today um, about what our OpenStack and Open Daylight uh, integration uh, is like, uh, also with our Viata vRouter. And at the end of the uh, presentation, I'm going to run a live demo, a, uh, sorry, a pre-recorded demo of the actual integration that, that we have working. Um, feel free to raise your hand and ask questions as we go, too. I know it's a little loud in here, so I'll, I'll repeat the questions. So what are, what, what, what are we actually doing here? So Cloud Stack orchestration with Open Daylight and OpenStack, I, I'm sorry, Cloud orchestration with OpenStack and Open Daylight is really what we're trying to achieve here. And there's a figure I'm showing here on the, on the slide where we have basically two layers. We have an orchestration layer where we have OpenStack um, which is responsible for orchestrating uh, the general VM uh, network and storage as, as usual. Um, what's, what's a little different here, and, and there have been a lot of questions people have been asking me uh, at, this, uh, at this show this week is, well, what, what do you do with the network underneath that? Neutron doesn't have uh, sufficient uh, details, for example, for configuring a lot of the different uh, network uh, technologies and components that are underneath. Um, and so that's where the controller comes in. And you can see the, the cloud uh, in the middle there with the actual network that's connecting the virtual routers. And then the, the open daylight controller uh, as, it, as it fits into the picture here. Um, the other interesting thing I'm showing here too is, is that applications that you then build on top of this uh, ecosystem or peanut butter and jelly sandwich, as some people call it, um, can be built now on top of OpenStack or Open Daylight. Um, the APIs are obviously different, but that's the idea, is that you build things around that. So uh, getting into this sort of commercial aspect and the deployment aspect of this thing, uh, what's important about OpenStack um, not just OpenStack, but Open Daylight and, and Open Source uh, to the kind of strategy I just showed on there. Um, there's tons of people working on this stuff. As you can see here, there's, this is a, a pretty impressive set of folks that are here working on this stuff. Um, tons of companies, you know, not just software vendors, hardware vendors, uh, lots of equipment vendors working on this stuff. Um, and to me, what's more important, most important, is actually the developers that are actually working on this. I mean, there's, there's over 600 developers uh, working on these projects. And that, that to me, uh, is indicative of this being a real open source project, a real community uh, project. So just a quick uh, overview of this sort of OpenStack ecosystem Obviously, compute network and storage are the obvious things. And then there's the enterprise grade distro that goes around that, which you probably talked to the, the three main guys that are here. Um, and then the, the sort of support hardware system integration ecosystem that's built around that. What I'm not showing here is, is also the open daylight controller that I showed uh, is building a similar community um, not just of developers, but of, of support and software and system integration as well. And so that combined solution between those two things, coupled with a, with a, with a um, carrier grade virtual router solution is really what you need, I think, for, for these three things to work together well. So Brocade is, is heavily involved in uh, open source now. Um, and so this is just a kind of a list of our OpenStack upstream contributions. Um, we're also right now actively contributing at Open Daylight as well. We just started uh, a couple of months ago, and we're already committing lots of patches to the code base there as well. But um, in OpenStack, I mean, we obviously have, um, I've got a bunch of contributions here that are listed. And I think some of the newer ones uh, related to the Cinder, uh, Cinder project as well. So the demo I'm going to play in a second um, is going to demonstrate the integration between um, an OpenStack distro 
uh, with an Open Daylight controller and the Viata V-Router. And what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, we have two VMs running, one with OpenStack, uh, one with Open Daylight. And then we also have, we're going to provision a virtual network um, that has four virtual routers, and they're going to interconnect, and we'll kind of step through that in the video. So let me launch the video now. Um, and let me hope that the audio works on this. I apologize if it doesn't. I haven't had time to uh, actually test this out. So let's try this out. OK, so over here, we're going to provision the first virtual router. So we're going into the OpenStack console. And we have three VLANs uh, that are configured in here as well. So we're going to provision each of the virtual routers. So here we have the four virtual routers now that are configured. They're uh, Viata V routers. And so now each one is booting as it's deployed. There they are. And now we can go in and actually look at the details, provision the interfaces on those routers, and connect them to the, to the virtual network, the VLANs that are uh, deployed. We're obviously not doing much paying attention to the, to the IP addressing here. It's, we just have a private net 10 address, address space here. We're not doing anything fancy. OK, so now they're all connected to the network. Now we're going to connect. There we go. Now we're going to connect them to the network. Once they're all connected to the external VLAN, we're going to show that they can all talk to each other. So now they're all connected to the management network as well as what we're calling the external network. And the interfaces are active. So now let's launch, uh, log into Open Daylight into the controller and discover those routers. And you can see Open Daylight's already discovered the controllers. The instance is running on that, on that um, network. So now the topology is showing all four of the virtual routers with the provisioned uh, interfaces. Um, and so we can click on the ports, and we can show that they're discovered with the right IP addresses, the right MAC address, uh, and so on. And so this, is, this may seem you know, sort of simplistic, but it's actually an integration of a lot of different moving parts. You know, we have the Viata V routers, we have an entire OpenStack distro that's running, and an entire Open Daylight controller that's configured and running here as well. So our next step here is then to be able to drill down into the routers and then play with the network configurations and so on with the controller. So that's that's the uh, sum of my demo. So thanks for uh, thanks for coming by. If you have any questions, I'll be hanging around or I'll be at the booth if you want to come by. Thank you.